In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that for all who celebrate the glorious name of the Blessed Virgin Mary, she may obtain your merciful favor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let everything praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, 
What credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High for he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Matar della Rosa. Matar misericordiae. Morning star. Mystical rose. Untire of knots. Co redemptorist. These and many more are all names that call to mind the most holy mother of Jesus, the Blessed Virgin, whose name we celebrate today. In the church, church's calendar, calendar, going back to the Middle Ages, August 15th to September 15th each year, we celebrate Our Lady's 30 days. During this month, we venerate Mary in the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin, the Memorial of the Queenship of Mary, the Feast of the Nativity of Mary, and finally the Memorial of the Most Holy Name of Mary. As you can see, the Memorial of the Most Holy Name of Mary follows the celebration of her nativity, just as the Memorial of the Most Holy Name of Jesus in January follows his nativity at Christmas time. The celebration first began in Spain in the early 16th century and was extended to the whole church in 1683 by Pope Innocent XI. The 1970 edition of the Roman Missal did not include this celebration, but it was reinstituted by Pope John Paul II in the third edition of the Missal in 2003. The name Mary most likely comes from the Egyptian name Miriam calling to mind the sister of Moses and Aaron, the only woman to bear this name in the Old Testament. The name Miriam means mistress of the sea, or more commonly, star of the sea. The name Mary, by itself, is said to mean the wished-for child. Sacred tradition teaches us that St. Jo Joachim and St. Anne, Mary's parents, were visited by the angel Gabriel and given the name Mary for their child, chosen by God, to be the Virgo de Para, virgin God-bearer. The name Mary cannot cross the lips of a believer without calling to mind the love she carried for her beloved son and his love for her. St. Anthony of Padua proclaimed, the mother of God could not have a name more appropriate nor one more impressive of her high dignity. He went on to say, Mary is in fact the beautiful and brilliant star which shines upon the vast and stormy sea of the world. Before I began my study of the Catholic faith in an RCIA class aboard the USS Wisconsin in 1992, I had practiced my beliefs under another Christian faith. Invited to attend the RCIA classes in order to better understand my new wife's religion, I was skeptical, having heard all the old stories about Catholics. Chief among these was that Catholics worship Mary. Through the eyes of a Protestant, she was not visit, venerated even in the slightest for her part in the salvation story. Little mention was made of the words of the archangel, Hail Mary, full of grace. Not much emphasis was given to the fact that Jesus was conceived of the Holy Spirit and was both divine and human because of his blessed mother. But as I sat in those classes and began to learn the whole story, the veneration of Mary started to make more sense. Her yes was the first step to the kingdom that Jesus came to establish. And so today, I ask that we take 
a little bit of time from our busy lives to pray the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, remembering always her sweet name and what it means to each of us. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Debbie Craig, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father. Let us conclude by asking Mary's intercession today as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of us the church. May the intercession of the blessed Mary, ever virgin, command our offerings, we pray, O Lord, and may it make us acceptable to your name, as we revere and venerate her name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. We we lift up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful <laughs> hymn of praise, for truly even earth's ends, you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the altar of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs 
in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Bless you, see, crowns in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you, you have set us free. Therefore, as we <coughs> celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we have not in temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory to you, and the Son of heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. May we obtain the grace of your blessing, O Lord, through the intercession of Mary, the Mother of God, that from her, whose holy name we venerate, we may obtain help in our every need, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Oh, Holy Lord, Michael, the Archangel, defend, defend us, us now. Do not protect us against the wickedness, the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to be you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits. The divine praise and protection against arms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Holy Spirit. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit. Lord. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her mother.